Tomorrow, I don't want to go after that. Righto, Talio, and today I'm going to be looking at the ROG Swift PG348Q 34 inch ultra wide monitor. This is the king of gaming monitors, and in actual fact, my mate Dodgy Dave he bought this. I'm lucky enough to review this, I got to use it for two weeks. And this thing is mental. It is so good. Now the story goes, Dodgy Dave, he was playing PUBG. Now he's addicted. And he had a 4K 60Hz monitor and it just wasn't cutting it. So he thought, I'm getting a gaming monitor. It was virtually carte blanche. Money was no object. Best gaming monitor I want. This is what he come up with. And I'm not going to really argue here. If this isn't the best gaming monitor, please let me know which one's better. Actually, there is a 34-inch Alienware that's like 120 hertz. Ultra wide as well. I'd like to test that out. I'm going to reach out to Alienware to test that. But in all honesty, I think this would have to be one of the best, if not the best gaming monitor out there at the moment. Now, there are new 4K 120 hertz models coming out, but I mean, how are you going to get 120 frames on, say, something like PUBG at 4K? It's just not going to be happening. So anyway, Dodgy Dave is addicted to PUBG, and I'm talking about a man, okay? A man that just runs into open fields and just fires shots willy-nilly, just advertising where he is. A man that just takes painkillers and energy drinks for no other reason than he thinks it's cool. He's got full energy, he still takes them. A man who played 50 hours PUBG. Just take this in. 50 hours, no kills. 51 hours, chicken dinner. That is for real. That is a real story. Anyway, let's get on to this monitor. This monitor here is 34 inch, 21 by 9, QHD 3440 by 1440, overclockable to 100 hertz. I'll talk about that later. It is curved as well. G-Sync, it has built-in LED lighting effect and the ROG Armor Titanium Plasma Copper color scheme. It's anti-glare and it's everything you want in a gaming monitor. Big, fast. It has a five millisecond response, 1000 to one contrast ratio. It is IPS as well. So let's go for a little overview. You can, so let's have a look. This thing is huge, okay? It's massive. You're going to need a big desk. You're going to need a deep desk because it does sit far in. And it will sit very close to you if you have a shallow desk. Because the way the stand works, it actually pushes the screen in towards you. And you have to have desk space to put this. On the front of the curved screen, you'll see that it has on the bottom a sort of like faux brush metal bottom bezel. It has thin bezels that are underneath the display itself. It's anti-glare. If you look below that, you can see the ROG light there. And you can also see the ROG armor titanium plasma copper sort of art there on the stand. It's sort of embellished with that sort of look, that gamer look. The LED light, yeah, it looks cool, I think. You can turn it off, of course. Now, whether this gamer aesthetic is for you or not, well, that's up to you, but definitely I can appreciate the quality and the effort they've gone to to make this display. Also, too, you'll see some graphics and it's just not a plain plastic back. They didn't have to go to that effort, but they did full marks for them to go into that effort. And I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I do appreciate that effort. And as you'll see, it looks kind of thickish if you look at the monitor itself. Not the bezels, but the actual whole monitor, the unit behind the display, it is thick because you can imagine, you know, pushing 1440p, 3400 hertz, it's going to take some power and that's why it can't be ultra thin like that. Now for IO, there's nothing crazy going on. You've got HDMI, you've got display port, you've got an earphone jack and you have USB ports four of them and then you have the USB 3 that is uh, upstream to your computer so you can use it as a hub. Unfortunately they're underneath the USBs that don't have any on the side. I like them on the side but um, at least they're there. It is a bit fiddly to get underneath there but once you connect it it's fine and also it does have a cover for the IO port so you can slap a cover on there and you get a nice clean look at the back. Now I guess I'll tell you how this thing performs and it is freaking epic like you would think. You're talking 34 inches ultra wide g-sync 
100 hertz and yes you have to overclock it so you have to go into the on-screen display and turn on 100 hertz or overclock it to 100 hertz that's where you can turn on that the led effect too and you have all sorts of preset modes and you can obviously manually tune it you can set how much overdrive you want and you have all these different preset like first person shooter racing games etc so you just set it to what type of game you use so that's easy to use it does have like a little joystick at the back and other function buttons on the back too it also has two times two watt stereo speakers now the speakers aren't particularly loud they're not particularly great but it's good that they have them you're probably going to be using the headset anyways that's not a big deal but in terms of gaming this thing is just amazing that pop of that panel now when you compare it to a va or a tn nothing compares to this the pop how much it pops the crispness the how vivid it is it really is a kick in the old plums it is a fantastic screen better than any other gaming screen i've seen for in terms of visuals now it is 100 hertz and the difference between 60 and 100 is quite big and especially when you have g-sync everything is smooth there's hardly any ghosting and of course there's no screen tears using g-sync you're not going to get any screen tears and it's just so epic gaming with this the only time i noticed a little bit of ghosting was when i set the overdrive to extreme or maximum whatever it is and like on PUBG, when i look up at the sky at the plane that was dropping off the care package i could see a little bit of ghosting on that plane but that was the only time i could really see any noticeable ghosting i turned the overdrive down to normal and that ghosting was gone and just how immersed you are with this display it is just fantastic to game on it it's super silky smooth once you overclock it in terms of gaming it doesn't get much better just the size the immersion of the widescreen the pop of the panel and just the refresh rate and the smoothness it just doesn't get much better than this and Usually with gaming monitors, there's one place where they're weak. Well, this one doesn't really have a weak point. It's not like TN where, you know, the viewing angles suck and VA, you know, it's not that much better than TN. This thing here is just the picture is fantastic. I wouldn't say it's the most color accurate display in the world. It is 100% sRGB. If you want to get the best colors out of it, you're probably best calibrating but for gaming, you don't need to do that. It just looks fantastic. And if you've got the money, and you want the best gaming monitor you want to check out this and you will need the money too i think he got it for fourteen hundred dollars on special in australia it's usually like sixteen hundred dollars you're talking like eight hundred dollars us something like that it is expensive but if you've got the money and you want the best well that's what you're going to get it's just fantastic and i will do another review of it once it's in its proper setup with dodgy dave's two custom loop water cooling rigs I'll definitely be making videos on that and videos on its setup. And anyway, any questions, let me know down there in the comments. I'd like to really thank you guys for watching. And until next time, guys, tally ho.